Welcome everyone. On behalf of Topline MD, thank you for joining us for today's session. Um, today we're answering your most pressing health-related questions about COVID-19 with Dr. Andrew R. Martin. Dr. Martin is a practicing infectious disease specialist in Broward County and a member of the Topline MD Alliance. Welcome, Dr. Martin. Thank you. I appreciate the introduction. It's great to be speaking with all of you today. Great. Let's begin with the first question. We know there's a lot of information in the news about COVID-19 on how it's spread, who are the most affected, what symptoms to look out for, but we want to get your expert advice on important questions not seen on the news. What should patients do during the COVID-19 outbreak? I think what everybody's heard, and you know, we need to stay at home, avoid social gatherings, and perhaps the most important thing is distance yourself from high-risk members of the family. Uh, that's if you're able. Only leave home for essentials like going to the grocery store, pharmacy, if needed, a doctor's visit. And if you have mild symptoms, quarantine yourself at home. At this point in time, it's not necessary to get tested if you have mild symptoms. If you're experiencing more serious symptoms, however, like shortness of breath or confusion, you need to seek medical help immediately. How concerned should patients be about the COVID-19? This is a serious situation. It's an unprecedented time for our society at large. It's not a time to panic, however. It is a time for urgency and purpose. Although COVID-19 is a public health concern, the immediate health risk to the general public still remains low, but this is growing rapidly. Follow the CDC and World Health Organization recommendations and keep up to date with local and regional news. What's the most important message everyone should know? All pandemics come to an end. 80% of patients that become ill with COVID-19 will have mild symptoms and recover unscathed. Another 17 to 18% will have a more serious illness that may require hospitalization, but they will also survive. Mortality rate remains low. It's only two to 3%. We will survive this as a society at large. We just have to be smart as to how we weather the storm and not panic. Do everything you can to prevent getting infected and further the spread. Number one, wash your hands frequently for at least 20 seconds with soap and water. If you need to use a hand sanitizer because you're unable to wash your hands, make sure you use a hand sanitizer that has at least 60% alcohol. Most of them in the market have that. Next, distance yourself from others. Avoid contact with sick people. Stay at home if you're sick with flu-like symptoms. Cover all your coughs and sneezes with your arm. And clean and disinfect surfaces that are touched by people uh, in, frequently. How long can I expect to be sick if I was diagnosed with COVID-19? This is a difficult question to answer. The length of illness varies uh, tremendously by how severe the infection is. It varies from five to 28 days, depending on the severity. But in general, most symptoms or most patients will only have symptoms for approximately one week. Would I be able to get reinfected with COVID-19? No, uh, there's no data to suggest that. And most of us will generate antibodies against this virus and will be unable to get reinfected. Is there anything patients can do to protect themselves? It's understandable to feel uncertain or anxious during these times. Uh, it's, this is a public health crisis, but yes, there are things that patients can do. Uh, avoid close contact with people who are sick. Stay at home when you're sick. Wash your hands often. Avoid traveling to places with widespread or sustained community transmission of the coronavirus. A good place for reliable travel information can be found on the CDC's travel advisory page. Most of us should be hunkering down at home, however. As COVID-19 continues to spread around our community, what are the Top Line MD Alliance affiliated practices doing to protect patients? Top Line MD affiliated practices are preparing to the fullest extent possible while providing you with top of the line care. We are pre-screening patients uh, with symptoms of fever, cough, or shortness of breath, and with a health history or uh, with a history, excuse me, of travel by air or sea or close contact with somebody who's been uh, laboratory confirmed infected with COVID-19. Uh, patients should be avoiding elective procedures as long as their doctors feel that it's safe for them to do so. 
We're also taking recommended steps from the CDC to limit exposure, including frequent sanitation of exam rooms, waiting rooms, and reception areas. We're also trying to have telehealth capabilities for all offices to ensure patient and staff safety while still providing top-notch care. As the situation changes, will we be making adjustments to our protocol to help protect the well-being of the patients and staff? Well, it looks like we've covered all of our questions today. Dr. Martin, is there anything else you wanted to cover before we wrap up? I know that these times have created a bit of uncertainty. Make sure you follow reliable sources. There's a lot of misguidance on social media, and in many cases for secondary gain. Be mindful of where you get your information from. Having said that, I think we're good for now. Thank you, everyone. It was a pleasure being with you today. Stay safe and healthy, and remember, wash your hands. We'd like to encourage you to share and post today's webinar directly on Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn. And remember to find a top NMD provider near you. Visit our website at topnmd.com. Thanks again, Dr. Martin, and thanks everyone for joining us.